When I initially heard of a campaign called Generations of Service, designed to strengthen and secure and help sustain some of our critically important ministerial assistance programs, an obvious question, I wonder what level of ministerial assistance comes to my home conference. $90,000 last year in ministerial assistance. That level of ministerial assistance to my conference is incredible. And that's the reason the Wisconsin Conference has made a significant commitment to the Generations of Service campaign. When one of our retired clergy needed highly specialized hearing aids, requiring an impossible out-of-pocket expense, the United Church Board for Ministerial Assistance stepped up and wrote a check. When a retiree didn't have enough money to buy food at the end of a month, the United Church Board for Ministerial Assistance offered an emergency grant. The Generations of Service campaign is our collective expression of the certainty of God's love. Our commitment to the generosity of God's grace. Join me in sustaining these vital ministries of our beloved United Church of Christ. At our annual meeting in June, we did a presentation on our situation ministry with regard to age of clergy, length of service, um, compensation levels. Two things became clear in the course of that conversation. Um, our clergy folks are incredibly financially stressed by congregations who don't have the capacity to financially support their clergy folks um, the way they need to be supported for their own financial health. And that our retired folks, many of them are leaving ministry without having had that support and so are not as prepared for retirement as they need to be. We're going to see an incredible influx in retired clergy folks in our conference in the next three to five years and we need to be prepared to meet that demand. There was absolute uh, unanimity among our conference body that we needed to support the program for that reason alone. But added to that were the underrepresented clergy, under, under 40 clergy in the room who are way underrepresented. And there is a growing voice uh, throughout our conference body that we need to continue to develop, lift up younger leaders whose um, energy, strength, vitality, vision, uh, evangelical spirit are giving our church its best shot at a uh, new lease on life, on a rebirth. And so the campaign hits two areas that are very close to the hearts of just about every person in our conference. The opportunity to support this was just a no-brainer. Uh, and so when we had an opportunity as a conference body to, to sign on as partners with this project, yes, was a very, very loud voice.